Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have my thoughts on the F1 2024 season halfway through because we have now had 12 races and we have 12 to go and good god this season couldn't be any different any more different than last season because <clears throat> let's not forget that last season we only had two winners throughout. Of course, we had Oscar Piastri winning the Singapore Sprint as well, but in terms of Grand Prix wins, there was literally only two winners. Max Verstappen, oh sorry, th three winners. Verstappen, Perez, and Carlos Sainz. Now, this season, in the first half alone, we've had six different race winners. Yeah, six. And I'm going to quickly run through them all right now. Of course, we've had Max Verstappen. That was never really in doubt. Um, we've had Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc for Ferrari. So both of, they, both of their drivers have won a race. And we have had Lando Norris get his maiden win for McLaren, which I was very happy to see in Miami. I was over, overjoyed. And then, <clears throat> of course, last week in Austria. Well, actually, no, not last week in Austria. Uh, should have been, but... Lo and behold, stuff happened, but we did have George Russell win his first, well, his second race a few weeks ago um, in Spain, and then, of course, yesterday at the British Grand Prix, ending a 56 race streak of not winning a race, Lewis Hamilton claimed his ninth British Grand Prix win, which is now a record for the most wins at a track by one driver. Uh, until now, it was him and Michael Schumacher tied for eight times, but Lewis Hamilton yesterday pipped him by one, winning the British Grand Prix for, as I said, the ninth time, breaking that record, as he has done with most of Michael Schumacher's other records. Of course, that eighth world championship still to be won, but mm, that could happen with Ferrari. Who knows? Now, if you watched the, the British Grand Prix yesterday... You'll know that it was probably the best race of the season so far. There was a gazillion lead changes, mainly between Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. So that was a fun battle to watch. Of course, that's how the podium ended. Well, not in that order. It was actually Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Lando Norris. So that's how the podium finished yesterday. But it was so tense towards the end, I was physically feeling nauseous. That's how tense it was going into those last five or six laps. You had you had Max Verstappen closing in on Lando Norris very quickly, but Lewis Hamilton pulling away from Lando Norris. And then eventually, on lap 49, I think it was, um, no, lap 50, Max managed to overtake Lando, and then Max Verstappen was absolutely gunning it, trying to overtake Lewis Hamilton before the end of the race. However... He quite simply ran out of laps and finished 1.4 seconds behind the seven-time world champion to the utter delight of the British crowds. It was mental there. Like, just seeing it on the telly, I could see how utterly insane the atmosphere was. It was incredible. In fact, over the team radio at the end, Lewis Hamilton and his um, race engineer Bono were actually crying together, which I thought was quite wholesome. As I said... 56 races without a win, he's going to get a bit emotional. And of course, this is his last British Grand Prix with Mercedes before going off to Ferrari next year, which is also very emotional for Lewis. Um, and at the end of the race, Lewis hugged both his dad and his mum, who were there. Not sure if his brother Nicholas was in attendance. I know he was there throughout the weekend, but I'm not sure if he was there for the race. I hope he was. Um, but yeah, been a very good season so far. I cannot wait for the second half of the season from Hungary in two weeks' time onwards to Abu Dhabi. Cannot wait for that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. My kind of thoughts on the first half of the 2024 F1 season. So please, like the vid, sub to mine and Roxanne's channel. Her link is down in the description. My button is down there. Please click those and then the bell icons to get both sets for notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you guys have thought of the first half of the F1 2024 season, and who do you think is going to be world champion at the end, constructors and drivers alike. Once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. 
I'll be down in the link tree in the description below that is going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all of your friends that can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following and sharing and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with my predictions for this week's episode of The Acolyte. Goodbye!